why narcissists feel threatened by your success. Narcissists feel threatened by anything you do that is normal. Anything that should be usual, typical or expected. Because that is what helps you to identify that you're dealing with a narcissist. It brings out certain reactions in them. Maybe you're a high functioning person. You're always focused on your work. You don't like to complain about anything. You don't like to gossip. Because you're more focused on your own life. The more normal you are, it creates a sense of peace and harmony. Because that's what normal people like. That's what normal people desire. And the narcissist will mirror you. They will act like they want peace. They don't want drama. But if that was really true, then it should be a smooth transition. There shouldn't be so many rises and falls. But the problem is, your normality makes the narcissist feel uncomfortable. You being a functioning person begins to reveal what they really are. Because although they may have said they don't like drama or arguments, beneath the surface they begin to feel deep anxiety and fear. Because being normal reflects upon and exposes everything that is abnormal. So when you're focusing on your work and you're becoming successful, they know that you're going to eventually see that everything they're claiming to be is just a facade. It's not real. Because your normality and success gives you the advantage. But many victims doubt themselves. They believe in whatever the narcissist is projecting onto them. They identify with it. And when you do that, you're taking yourself out of normality and out of reality. And then you lose that peace and harmony you had before you engaged with the narcissist. It's like you're jumping into a ditch where they're used to meeting and gathering and being in a position of authority. They're used to arguing. They're used to conflict. It's all they've ever known. Things might start off okay in the beginning, but eventually it begins to fail due to their own insecurities from their failures and past situations because that's what causes them to turn against you. That's what causes them to feel threatened by you because they've already been through so many negative and unhealthy situations. So by the time they meet a normal person, they just see it as a joke. They think it can't be real. They assume that you must have a hidden agenda. So then they start testing you. They create an argument out of nothing. 
just to see how you will react. Because they believe that you must be hiding something. They think there's no way that you can be like that all the time. So then they end up on this mission where they're trying to expose you. But when they do that, they just end up obstructing whatever you're trying to accomplish because they're reacting off of their own past failures and insecurities where something went wrong for them. So then they end up trying to test you because they assume you're no different from other people they've known. But the very test that they're performing on you should reveal to you everything you need to know about them. It should reveal to you that they are not good for you. Because a normal functioning person would respect your normality and success. They would recognize that it's supposed to be peaceful and harmonious. That's how life is meant to be. We are meant to get along with each other without the drama and chaos. But for the narcissist, the more peaceful it is, the more uncomfortable they become. Which is why when you start to see the narcissist blowing up, you're witnessing the effects of all of the work they fail to do on themselves. You're seeing all of their faults and imperfections, all of their deficiencies, which they fail to attend to. And it's like a disease. It's very contagious. It spreads to other people in the environment. They pass that state of being harmful and unpleasant onto the next person. Because they're trying to convince you that you're not a functioning person. You're not normal. They end up on this mission where they're trying to prove to you that you're no different than everyone else. That seems to be their only purpose once you see through them. Which is when they begin to tear you down. They manage and lower your expectations. They make you accept less than what you deserve because they already know they're no good for you anyway. But they don't want to accept that you are a normal functioning person. They can't accept that. Because otherwise that would reveal who they really are from what they're pretending to be. It would break down their exaggerated sense of self-importance and show them what they are from what they think they are. Because who they really are is being reflected back from you. Which is why they begin to hate you. They become very resentful to you for you being who you are. Because it makes them see who they're not. When you're a functioning, capable person and you've become successful, it will bring out all of the shame and insecurities in these types of people. And then they will begin to act in a very strange way around you. Because it exposes them. It reveals who they really are. The more they see how great you are, it tears them apart because it reveals that they're the problem. It reveals that they're the one who is defective. They're the ones with the problems. And then they're forced to look at every other situation before you 
and realize that they were the problem in those situations too. But they're not going to accept that. They're not going to entertain it. Their ego won't let them accept it. It's too painful. Instead, they will start nitpicking and fault finding. They will find everything wrong with you. They will try to destroy your success and take you off your path and purpose. Because they have to think that you're fake. You cannot be real in their world. Because they already know they're not real. They already know they're putting on an act. So they assume that everyone else is doing the same thing. Everything they do is designed to take you out of that state of peace and harmony and pull you down to their level. Because once you lower your moral standards and do something that is unpleasant, dishonest or unfair, once you retaliate, that proves to them that you're not any different. Which is why you should not engage with disordered people for a long period of time. Because if you remain around them for a long period of time and you descend to their level, you will eventually develop a psychological defect yourself. Just by interacting with them. And then in their minds they're thinking, I knew you weren't anything different. Just look at how you're acting now. Because now they've got you angry and frustrated. You're not on your path and purpose anymore. But they remember how you used to be. And they will constantly resurface that to you. As though now you're so different. You're not the same as you once were. Because then in their minds, that tells them you weren't really about anything. But the entire time, you were around someone who lessened your effectiveness. They did very harmful things to you when you thought you could trust them. They betrayed you. They tried to tear you apart because they couldn't be who you are. They will never be who you are. It eats away at them. They're very envious and jealous and it makes them hate you. It makes them want to destroy you. Which is why they're always trying to get you to engage in foolish behavior. They're always trying to get you to engage in the unawareness or lack of social norms. They're trying to get you to engage in things that cause offense, annoyance, trouble or injury. They're trying to get you to take on their insecurities because they know that will take you down to their level. Where you will begin to doubt yourself and become more like them. You will no longer be at your best. Which is what they want. They want to see you struggling. They want to see you drinking alcohol again or doing drugs because they're not investing anything into you. They know they're not going to be around for long, which is why they're just trying to get whatever they can. Because they know at some point they're going to lose you. And they don't want to see you moving on with your life and having something with someone else. Something that they will never have again in their life. Which is why they just want to take your mind and leave you to rot.
You must stay away from anyone who is negative. Anyone who is constantly complaining. Stay away from these types of people. They're always involved in something. They're never positive about anything because they don't like normality. They don't like it when everything functions in a normal way. They don't like it when everything runs smoothly. They don't like it when you're on top of your game. There are different classes of people. And some people aren't going to be so tolerable of your success. Because a normal person is not going to challenge you. They're not going to call you to participate in a competitive situation. Because if they're normal, they're going to be your partner rather than your enemy. They're not going to be constantly giving you negative comments. Because if you want to succeed in something, you need positivity. You cannot build anything without positivity. Which is why you must avoid negative people. Especially people who are always suspicious. People who always see the worst aspect of things and believe that the worst will happen. You need to avoid people who have that defeatist mentality. Because they're only going to bring you down with them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.